Okay guys, now let's continue with another example just for you to be comfortable with this term LCM um, because this, these are some very important terms that we ought to be familiar with in mathematics, okay? So when we are working with much more interesting topics and you are asked to find these terms or identify them, it's, it's, it's very easy to do so, okay? Now, in this example, you're going to be asked to find, let's say, find the LCM LCM of of let me change my color LCM of 8 4 let me put a 4 here and I'm going to put a 16 there so we're asked to find the LCM of 4 8 and 16 okay so again uh, to find my LCM in number 1 I have 4 and 4 the f multiples of 4 are first one is 4 then it's as if I'm counting by 4 I have a 8 I have a 12 16 I have 20 and the next one would be 24 I just feel like stopping there as we said it goes on and on now my number 2 I would have 8 and I'm going to list all my multiples of 8 up to a certain point so the first one would be 8 then the second one would be 16 and then the next one would be 24 and then my next multiple would be 32 and I'm stopping there again okay and then last but not least I am going to list my multiples of 16 so my multiples of 16 are 16 and the first one is that 16 then I would have a 32 and I would have a 48 okay and I'm going to put my three dots to suggest that I stop there now if you notice when I check my list here I have a 4 here but 4 is not in any of these listings so I have to eliminate that 4 okay now here I have a 8 here and a 8 here but I don't have another 8 here so I have to eliminate that 8 okay so I'm not focusing on that here I have 12 but I don't have any 12 here so I have to eliminate that 12 okay but here I have a 16 okay I have a 16 here and I have a 16 here and another 16 there so I'm going to circle the 16 okay so I have one there, another one there, and another one here. Okay? So if you notice, 16 is in all three listings. All right? Here, I, ha I have 20. It's not here. It's not in the other two listings. 24 is up here, and it's here. But obviously, 24 is larger than 16. And as it suggests, I would want the smallest number that 4, 8, and 16 can go into without leaving a remainder. The critical thing to note here, remember I said that a number is both a factor of itself and a multiple of itself. So 16 is a multiple of 16. So if you notice, that's, that's a very unique situation that I want you to be familiar with, okay? So uh, I would make my statement now. Therefore, 16 is my... L C M okay and it's that easy guys all right now as I've always stated if you have a question always feel free to post your question and your comments and we'll get back to you as soon as possible on these on the lessons okay also you can subscribe to our channel and to get the latest updates from our videos okay bye bye